app guys and girls are out there that make 600 apps and this is one of them that they made and they actually built a really good product but they're focused on the one that popped. You got your perspective. I just want to be happy. Don't you want to be happy? Hi. Hi. How are you? Super well. Good. Good, good, good. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. For sure. Very, very, very much. We actually met in May of 2017 at uh, the 4Ds event. I have to say thank you because that event changed my life. How so? You inspired me to start something new in my business. And a couple months later, I launched a brand new product in my business, Social Curator, which is a monthly social media membership. Uh, And we provide 30 lifestyle photos, 30 caption templates to help people talk about their business without selling their business. And then an action plan in a community. And within 12 months, we created a seven-figure revenue stream in the business. That's so awesome. we took what we learned, started applying it, and I just have to say thank you because it's not about the business. Like you empowered me to be me. So thank you. It's You're awesome. Welcome. It's an awesome. So, that makes me happy. Uh, if that's all I get to say to you, like it's totally worth it. So um, I know we have a very short amount of time together. So I'm going to talk for maybe 30 seconds, and then I just want you to riff. Sure. So. We currently have uh, 6,000 members and we're on trend to reach 10,000 by the end of 2018. And so we have a community and I asked the community, hey, what would you guys like to see next? And the thing that we heard the most is that people want a social curator app because I can see it, they want to remove the friction from taking the resources that we provide for them and pushing it to their social platforms. And then things got a little bit tricky because when I started asking what features do you find the most valuable in an app if we were to create one, the number one thing was we want to organize, plan, and schedule our posts, but we want to use these resources. And I think to myself, okay. The tricky part then became, if I were to create an app that serviced their primary demands or requests, it would put me squarely in the organizational planning app space, which is a totally different business model than what I currently have. So my question to you is if you were me, would you create the app? Because our goal is to move the needle. Do you think that a, perhaps like a half-baked app just to do the very basics would move the needle? Or would you like triple down on the investment, that the time and the cost to create an app that's a slightly different business model than what we currently have and puts us squarely in a different type of app space? Um, the, my first read is I'd probably consider to quadruple down on what's already working okay. and go from 6,000 to 60,000 yes. and use that leverage of even 6,000 to probably JV with an organizing app that creates some sort of relationship. Yeah. I, I'm, I think that people need to be thoughtful about what they're good at and then be even more thoughtful about what doesn't come as natural or what they may not be as interested in. So I hear put the app on hold and focus on like... I would say in par- based on that, I would say consider finding an app partner that already does what you're thinking about building and say to them, you call up Charlie and say, hey Charlie, I have 6,000 fucking people paying me. Yeah. And they want this. I don't necessarily want to do it. How's your business going? Okay. Can I leverage that? So I went to one company and we got to negotiations. We got almost to signing the contract and then they realized that they didn't want to open their API even though we had already started to create our own. And what we wanted to do is just say, hey, how can I got we it. synergize? I got it. And like, well, first of all, even if they did want to open your API, you're probably lucky that happened because you basically married the first girl you met. Yeah. You have leverage. So what I would do now is take a step back, okay. analyze all the apps in that space, yeah. spend um, two weeks on Googling, find out the partners, yeah. randomly I call them. them. Love. To have conversations. The, the space. I'm sorry? The whole, sp- like multiple apps in the space or one specific one? Um, so we reached out to one, the first one that I thought the community responded the best to and I said, oh, it's synergistically, I think that this would pair up. Right. But that was like the first guy that I wanted to marry. But okay. So then, once I realized that they weren't like as excited about the relationship as I was, I was like, okay. So I reached out to six other apps within this space and they all said that they were open to conversations. But now it just took me to take a step back and it's just like, okay, I need to actually know what I, what I want. And Here's I, what, well, you'll appreciate this. I think back to kissing more than one boy, <laughs> if we're playing the analogy out, I think you should go take those six meetings. Okay, would I, you do them in person? Yes. Okay. Uh, I mean, if they're in fucking Kansas City and you're like, fuck, is this like, you know, you may want to face, you, you don't know, you know, I'm not against a FaceTime or a phone call. I think the first call for efficiency purposes can be a call. Okay. 
But if you're feeling it, yeah, I always think if you're gonna go into a partnership, you wanna go in eyes wide open. And specifically because when we didn't, we got into the numbers, we understood that like our value proposition perhaps isn't as pretty as theirs because they have all the numbers. But what I think that we have is like the, the partnership that the people that we had reached out to had tried to do what Social Curator does. They actually st- like tried putting out like stock images to see how their users would respond to them and it completely fell flat. So we know that what we're doing is something special because people are telling their friends and their friends are telling their friends. And so I just think that there is a gap in this space because we don't want to get into the organization. Of How's your business? Structured. What does it cost? It costs thirty dollars a month for for a dollar a day. You get a caption prompt and a photo. If you have nothing else to post that day, and so people log in, and we have a mobile friendly platform, yep. so they would log in. They could download a photo, download a caption prompt, fill in the gaps, talk a little bit more about their business. And- it's funny. We we literally almost built this app three years ago. I'm like, so glad you did it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you did it. Um, there's so much. There's so much abundance. There could be seventeen Absolutely, of these. But I'm hoping that Vayner buys. Is that what you want? Um, that's great. Good for you. Um, yeah, I think you have the leverage. Okay. I think you're less of a commodity than they are. More importantly, you know, like there's a million. You you don't know what's out there. Do you know how many apps? I'll give you one. I would look at the bottom fifty apps in the space. I'll tell you why. They might have. They might have. Thir- you know how many app guys and girls are out there that make six hundred apps? And this is one of them that they made and they actually built a really good product but they're focused on the one that popped yeah. and you can like swoop up and take the technology for 5,000 bucks. Yeah. You, you have to explore. I love this. I think you're saying everything that we kind of toyed with but hearing it from you and just like having a good Yeah, affirmation, yeah. you know, sometimes matters, especially when it's affirmation from a source that helped you get like, that's Basically, how, yeah. Yeah, totally, totally. And I also heard rumors of there being uh, version 2.0. Uh, yeah, we're, these. yeah, we're definitely, the Sasha Group, this new company we started, is absolutely trying to understand. Do you know how it feels to hear that you went to 4 ds spent $10,000, and built a seven-figure business? Like, In 12 months. Yeah, it feels remarkable. And so, as you can imagine, we're trying to figure out how to scale that to when this happens. What's the what's the hundred thousand dollar version? Um, and so we're thinking about it. Yeah, we're definitely we're definitely you should definitely go to the sashagroup.com and fill out the form okay. just to get in a conversation with one of our people okay. because we're obsessed with. I like getting the short end of the stick. A lot of my friends make fun of me. They're like, "Why do you have a business that's it's not smart? Like you're getting." Like you're, you're giving away the milk for free, you know, that whole analogy. And I'm like, because it makes me happy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know, this is, you know, it's, you know, makes me happy. I mean, a ton of my content is fuck, 99% of my content is free. Mm-hmm. So I'm, uh, I'm super happy to hear that. Thank you. Well, I'm already, I keep on like DMing Nick. I'm like, hey, I want to be the first. Like, let me <laughs> in. In the like, next so, thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I will say, are you spending media dollars? There's a new product we're definitely gonna scale on Sasha. It's called a media whiteboard. It's like a one day session. I think, it, I don't recall, I overheard him talking about it. I think it's 15 to 25,000 bucks, but they like, like literally people from the Vayner media team that spends you know half a billion dollars in media sit down and audit what you're doing and then give you a plan. And so at your level right now, because it's so new, you may not be spending, like there's people who are spending three, four, five hundred thousand on media, and as you can imagine, Spending twenty five to spend your three fifty way better. Yeah, I would. I'm trying to. I'm trying to think for myself what I think the minimum. Like, if you spend a hundred thousand, is it worth it? Right. Um, there's definitely a delta there. So that's a new product Sasha is definitely doing, which could be cool. Um, I think you should look at the bottom fifty apps. I will. I will. I went. To I have a funny. F- yeah, I have a funny feeling. Think about it, right? And you're saying to acquire. You might be able to, like, if you think about it, it's a bot. You know, you, yeah. you look at top ten, right? You go to they have leverage because they're top ten for a reason. Right. You go to number eighty three. Number eighty three might be a better app than top ten. The person's just not working it. Oh my god, I love that idea. Thank you. I love. That. <laughs> Listen, I know we have a short amount of time, but I couldn't leave without letting you know that you did a, an Instagram live. You just popped up your phone. It was D Rock, it was Tyler, and you guys were talking about how you guys were gonna launch Clouds and Dirt. 
and I was watching this riveted. I couldn't put my phone down. I was like, how is Gary letting me in this business meeting? And there you guys were like, talking about like, how can we promote mm-hmm. it? I remember it very well. Okay. I remember thinking that was a really cool it, idea. What? I mean, I was sitting at home in sweatpants being like, oh my God, I'm in a meeting with Gary. And then I DM'd Tyler a few days later. I said, when are you guys dropping that? Because I want to invest. And so I bought the 35 pairs of shoes and I ended up donating them to an organization here that teaches young men how to be entrepreneurs in Los Angeles. Thank you for that. Full, well, it's a full, thank you, because it was a full circle moment. My father is an immigrant, worked three jobs, came to America, we had a live. <laughs> the first thing he ever bought his kids was a pair of K-Swiss shoes. Get the fuck out I know, of and so I remember wearing these like brand new white <laughs> yes. shoes, like I'm American. You're like, you're like I'm broke. fresh, like, I yes. We and I just think to myself, and there's a group of 35 young men in LA who it's have awesome. the same feeling. So thank, thank you. you for that. Thank you, thank you for that. Um, I'm really glad we have this time again. So am I. Thank you. Like, yeah. So it's very, very, very generous. Thank you. Happy to do it. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you.